fossil into the fork yeah that was no good okay let's keep playing this english um uh, Yeah, I'm gonna play Bishop C5, the other line. Let's go back. I have Knight G4 somewhere in here. Okay, so I played D5. Goes D3. I don't have to take, in fact, I think. But I'm not playing. Okay, I'm gonna go e3 here. Let's see. Play e3 castle and rook e8. What? Oh! Oh, if I go d4, he just takes me as queen a4, which I also. Oh, yeah, yeah, I completely missed that. Uh, okay, I guess I just play chess then. Just pretend I've done nothing wrong. Could have played h5, h4 too, but whatever. This is queen d2. I guess I'll play knight c6. Knight d4. I'll play rook e8, of course. Put pressure on the pawn. He'll take. I'll take. Of course, I misplayed this opening once again. So I'm going to go knight g4 here. This e4. Of course, I play d4. Probably going to go h5 somewhere like... Maybe no, maybe I just go C5. Oh my god, he had E5. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go here. He had E5. Oh no, I had 95 maybe, but yeah, I just did a Nepo look. Yeah, I mean I'm not playing very well at the moment, so. I'm just gonna go H5, H4, try to attack. I can always go H4. And also play H from the Queen. I think I'm just gonna go H4. Probably rook c1, we trade, and I go like queen e7. He goes bishop f3, which I also don't particularly like. Um, because I feel like somehow I'm going to be able to activate the rooks on this this uh, this this rank. Go here, I guess, to go guard the pawn. If I can get like bishop e6 and knight d7 in, I'm better. He goes queen f4. Knight d7 is a move. G5 also a very strong move potentially. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go G5, G4. And then like knight h5 and just go for the kill. The thing is he does have he does have b4, so I do need to be careful. I go knight h5, b4, knight g3. B4 rook b4 though. So no, let's just go here. So he goes b4 takes, I should be fine. He goes e3. Of course, I should go. I guess I should go bishop e6. I don't know which square is best, but I'm just going to put the bishop on e6. I did miss queen h6, but I can still go rook c8 or queen f8. Still relatively okay. Would I prefer prime or Gatorade energy drinks? I don't know what that question even is. Uh, wait, what is this? If I play queen b4, I don't understand. What is it? What am I missing? I don't understand what that move was. Because now I cover everything with queen f8. I think he just sacked a pawn for no reason, and now he's in a world of trouble again. Yeah, it was really unnecessary by Rustamov. Goes rook c5. He can obviously just take and take. What is this? Go knight e2 here, of course. G3, rook B I mean, this is all just GGs. Another win. Yeah, I enjoy my time at Davidson. Uh, you mean Dickinson? Different, different college. Um, it was okay. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, so let's go e4 again and keep rolling. You're making all these GMs look like IMs, yeah. Just take and go c3, knight a3 here. 
I'll play the same line. I mean, I thought I got a great position. Maybe I'm wrong, but actually, no, let's go here. Put pressure on the pawn. So I also have queen b3. There's also a sack in here too, I feel like. Maybe knight g5 even. Hmm. Kind of want a sack, but I'll go back. I have a feeling there was a sack in there that I missed. Okay, I'm going to go e5, just trade pieces here. Queen b3 was maybe a move, maybe. Actually, I hung a pawn, didn't I? Not great. Ah, oh, this song again, the Rita Ora song from yesterday. Gonna tango knight c4. Tango the knight. Oh. Can obviously trade because the problem is he can't castle. I won't ever let you down. Trying to go king e7, so 95 looks right to hit the rook. If he could castle, he'd be completely fine here, but he can't castle. I could have played bishop b6 first, and maybe I should have. Excuse me. Why I choose to live in Florida? Are you fr are you from there at all? Uh, I have a con I have a lot of connections here. Um, it's not it's not the only reason, but I have a lot of connections here. Tax are lower. Weather is nice. Um, amongst other things. Is my opponent drunk? Yeah, I was about to say he's playing like he's a little bit intoxicated with something. Oh, 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 I won't ever let you down. If I go b6, yeah, I just go rook b4, I mean. That draw is looking pretty smart now. Well, he would have won that game, so no. Actually, no, it's plus one, so no. I'm not playing him at plus one. At plus two, I'll play more, but not a plus one. Uh oh I won't ever let you down. Play R2 in a few games. Uh oh, I won't ever let you down. Okay, I've sent out some challenges. Nobody seems to want to play, which is kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, kind of annoying. Um, adopt two. All right, let's do some puzzles. Let's do some puzzles. We'll probably do an, do, do an arena. Oh, uh, they fear you? Yeah, I can't seem to get a game, so it's kind of annoying. Let me refresh, and let me change the scene, of course, and away we go. All right. Board should show correctly, right? Yeah, let's do some puzzles. Let's do some Gamba in honor of Twitch. Um, checkmate, checkmate, queen, that's good, whoops, checkmate, it's will I hit 56, 56 is an interesting proposition, um, tricky, tricky puzzle for 13, by the way, wait, a couple of tricky puzzles here to start, but it's all good. I'll still find my rhythm eventually. That's good. 
That's good. That's good. It's good. That's good. Check, check. Take the rook. That's good. That's good. Wait, wait a sec. <clears throat> Okay, that's good. That's good. Um Okay, now this is tricky. There's Rook H4. I guess just this and takes, that's good. Um, that's good. Okay, now this is... Uh, can you... Not E5. Um, Okay, that, I took way too much time. That was so stupid of me. Um, Go call nine nine nine. That's Just good. Uh, can't be. King four f six or g five f six. Okay, that's good. White to win. White pawns going up to four. Was this checkmate? Force mate. Good. Rookie eight, rookie eight. Rook F one. Good. Knight H three, which looks like mate. That's probably this and check and mate. There we go. Fifty four. Um there we go. That's good. Could be rook G two. I've actually seen this puzzle before, I think. I think it's Queen G four. And you go to like there we go. That's good. This must be check. Okay, that's okay. It's not a big deal. We hit hit the benchmark. That's good. But now, the rook c three or not? Could be rook c five. Um, bum 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 bum. And I have no idea what it is even. This. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So that's life. It should be F six, I get. No, it's, oh, it's the other order. Yeah, I mean the, these la the, the this one was good to guess on. This last one was like, oh, there's knight g three. I didn't see knight g three. I saw rook c three. Rook. I saw rook c three. Rook. I saw rook c three. Rook f one. Yeah, I didn't see knight g three. That's why. That's why. That's why I got all um, all like all confused there. Yeah, that, that's that's just what it is. Very very unfortunate. So. All right, let's see if there's anybody else online to play against. Let me change the scene, of course. Um, let's see who's online. Gupta is apparently back online. So let's see. Challenge Demchenko and keep going. Thank you so much to Sela Manokazam for the Prime State of the Line for the Prime and Goku for 39 months. Okay. Okay, we get R2, and this guy is pretty good, actually. I need to be really focused. Play bishop f5. Let's go c5 here. Knight c6, of course. Play 
Play the H6. It's not the line I normally play, but this guy has some insanely good prep. So I'm going to take a 97 and then play A6. Go here, force a trade. It should be just better. F5, I can just go Bishop H7. Castles. This does not look right, actually, at all. I think I just take and go Rook C8 and Rook C4. I have Bishop C5. I mean, Rook C4 looks very strong. I'm going to play check. I mean, I assume I just go queen d7, though, and hold everything here. So I'll just go bishop b4. I don't even know if it's the right move, but it's a move. Oh, he's got knight h5, which, of course, kind of overlooked. I might get mated here somehow, but let's see. I'm going to castle. I mean, this looks terrible for me, but it could also be really fine. If F6, I have G5. I mean, if he ever has to push, he opens up the scope, so he does it. Wow. Um, wait a second. But first of all, I can take and play Bishop E4. FG7 takes. Wait a second. G5 looks like the right move, actually. I'm going to go G5 here. I don't know. Maybe I could have played Rook C3. It's, again, very hard to judge. And also go Rook C8 here, maybe. Let's go rook c8. Because if knight g3, I can play bishop f8. Knight g7. Oh, he's going all in for the mate? Wait a second. Wait a second. This should not actually work. First of all, I have d4. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Just think. If I play rook c3, and I have bishop e4 and bishop c5, I mean, this should be mate. Unless I'm crazy. Okay, let's just take i mean i go check and check i mean go check go check and let's take i mean i i don't know like there's no mate there's no lolly here and I, he's losing the rook on f2 f1 i mean this has to be winning after queen b5 oh did i just play a bad move maybe no i didn't okay i'm still winning i can take multiple rooks yeah i'm trying to take and mate him that way yeah it should be winning there's no there's no way to dodge i mean with these ops i i have to be winning he's one move short he, he can't get it he can't get a checkmate f6 was actually a blunder by him i'm not surprised it opened up the scope for the bishop it felt, it felt like a mistake right but this is just mate no takes and check i mean he doesn't get the lolly Yeah. If he had an extra tempo, there would be there would be the classic uh Jean Battista Lolly checkmate with Queen G7, but here he doesn't get it. So was this good for me? Let me take one quick look at this. This was good, okay. It was good. Um all right, let's go knight f three here. Play b three, bishop b two, keep it simple. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is a GM, just so you guys know. I'm pretty sure this guy's a GM. Or he's going to be a GM very soon. Actually, I'm supposed to go Bishop E2 first. Let's go here. Plays bishop g4 now. I think if I play h, then there's knight e4. There's some kind of weird dank trick. I also have rook c5 right away, but if I go h3, which I think is fine, kind of. I think it's fine. I actually don't know if it's fine. I should have used more time before playing it, actually, because, yeah, he's got this, and I take, and now it starts to get very wacky and wild. Definitely should have used more time before playing this. Um, now, queen c2 is a move. Rook c2 looks completely fine just to hold the juice. And I can take and go like rook b2 or something. This GM next to his name, he's a GM. No, it says... Oh, actually, wait. It changed. Actually, wait. It changed. You guys, this said I am. Wait, this said I am like a couple days... Like maybe a week ago when I played him. So this must be a kid who just got the GM title. Yeah, it, it literally just changed. Because I played this guy so many times, I didn't even bother looking. It's like, he's always been an IM. Um, 
I'll go here to hit the knight. Yeah, you know, it's because I'm so used to seeing the say I am. That's that's why I like I was so used to it. That's that's why you guys were like, what 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 are you doing? Uh, let's just take and take. I mean, I have the file at least. I have a C file here. He does have knight d6, but again, I should be a little bit better, just a little, just a smidgen better. He goes rook d6, which looks very slightly wrong to me. I'll go f3. I go g4, kick the knight out. That looks weird too. Um, wants to go g5 somewhere. Actually, maybe it's a good move. I don't know. I'll play f4 here. Go king g3 maybe. Eh. I'm still fine, but this. Yeah, I kind of misplayed this. Go. Oh, was that just a blunder by me? I'm a little bit lucky. Might have been able to trade. Um, I take. And go here, I guess. A ninety two or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean position's okay for me, but I'm not enthused. I mean I guess I go knight b3, knight d4 or something. And go here. I have knight c6 maybe. Plays h5 logical. I think I'm gonna go b5 and knight c6 to go after this pawn. Does it interesting? Could have played knight six first, I guess. Okay, I'll... okay and go here. Okay, now I think what I want to do here is play like rook f1 or rook f8. Bullet proof. Now, points with a pawn here locked. I'm always better in the end game. I think actually I should have played knight six first, to be honest, to stop e5, but okay, who cares? Who cares? Not me. Thank you, Dave Grohl, for the prime. Thank you, Dave Gro Grohl, for the prime. Oh, let's go a4. Oh, I didn't have to play a4. I could have. I could have just taken the pawn. Why did I do that right away? How do I do this? Actually, I'll go back. Play rook h1. I can obviously take. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take and go rook it. Oh, it goes e4 here. That's not the move I expected at all. Um. Maybe I just go here and play a5. Oh, he's got that, but I have this to hit the pawn. He missed rook before. Now, if I go here and king b1, I mean, I'm starting to really put the heat on him time wise. Let's go check and take the pawn. Okay, now, now he's starting to lose his, his lose the thread completely. Let's just go here. Can I bring the knight back, maybe? Go here. Yeah, I must play this, but I'm still better. I'm gonna have to flag him if I can. Yeah, I totally bungled this. I'm gonna have to make a draw if I can. There we go. Let's keep going. 
Big wins. Big wins. That's how you get it done. Thanks so much to Kato Green for the prime. Thanks so much to Kato Green. Appreciate it. Let's play B5. Let's go Bishop B7. Play D6 and Knight D7 here, or maybe H5. Uh, let's just play H6 here. That's how you play chess, you guys. That's how you play chess. Uh, let's take. Go here. Attack the pawn. I have B4. Let's take. Okay, we're three. Obviously not a good move. I can take the pawn, but even Knight C6 looks good here. Yeah, let's just go Knight C6. If C3, I take and play E5, of course. Um, I can play Knight D4 here. I can also just go E5, just open it up. Let's just play E5. Kramnik left the stream, indeed. And actually, I have E4 here, too. It's pretty good. Takes, I mean, now taking with the knight is actually very human, very logical. Taking with a pawn also makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to take with a pawn. So I have e4 here, and I really like my position. Things so which have bsa for the prime. Things so which have bsa appreciated. Bishop takes g2, allows rook g3, and I lose one of the bishops. He goes queen e3. If I go queen e7, hmm. Could also, no, I don't want a castle. That's insane. Queen e7, bishop h2, e4, knight f4, e d3, knight d5. There should be a move here that I'm missing. But I don't see it right off. Um, Maybe just, no, not bishop e6. Or, let's go. I mean, I guess I'll do it. I, I don't want to play it, but. Got to move the bishop somewhere. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna castle. It's kind of insane to castle into everything, but I think it's correct. And maybe like rook d8 and f5. Okay, he goes bishop f5, which I also don't really like. Although, yeah, maybe I just trade the bishops here. Because I also have knight d4. Like maybe now knight d4. Yeah, I think now I go knight d4, force the trade, then I go rook e8. The show goes on, but I mean I, I think it's okay. I have rook e8 here. Or rook f8. I don't know which one's best. I think I'll play rook a8. Just because I think the rook on f8 guards the pawn maybe in the end game. I also have queen g5 check maybe. And now I have bishop a2 with the fossil as well. He blocks. Okay, so I can take with the queen. Trade the trade on f4. I can also play bishop there. Which end game is best? Which end game is best? Queen h5 also maybe a move. Uh, this looks like the simplest way to play it. Create the kebab. Of course, I missed that naturally. Yeah, I mean, I'm still better, but not easy to prove an advantage. Now he goes bishop g1. I guess I go uh, rook d8. Bishop g1 was a bad move, by the way, because now I have like rook e4. I also have d3, maybe. Yeah, I think, I think I have d3 because I have check. And then I have bishop b2. Oh, I missed that of two as well, of course. Go here in bishop g5, maybe. But now I have the kebab. Um, but check on g5 or not is also a tough question. I assume I should just take and go here. Still better, it's just not trivial. Go here. I also had rook to e3, maybe. It goes bishop f4. If I check and go here. I mean, I'm getting a bunch of pawns. Let's just take. Yeah, I'm going to start pushing p on the queen side. I'm not even worried. It's just one pawn down the board here. So I'm not really worried. Okay, don't care. Just keep pushing p. Just keep pushing p. Let's go a3 and rook, rook takes. I mean, I think these two pawns are too much. Thanks so much to Derek Gaddis for the 33 month reset. Thanks so much to Derek Gaddis. Out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Nakamura L. Yeah, we're going to get another win. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Bishop c1. Trying to go Bishop a3. I just go here though and takes an a. 
Two. Aha, he found a trick, though. Oh, I got, I got to move. What am I doing? Yeah, this is winning, but... Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Let's go night of three. I think I'll play knight c3 to hit the pawn on, on d5 here and now just castle. Feels pretty good. I can play a4, maybe knight b5 as well. Yay! Snoopy 2426 just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Goes bishop b4, which is definitely a strange move to me. I'll play a5, a6. Bishop b4, very strange move to me, at least conceptually. Just there, or can I go here and queen a1? I mean, this looks very, very good for me. Maybe queen a1 first was a little bit better. Yeah, because he has queen d7. But still knight d4, queen a1. I mean, this looks very, very good for me. I've got a great bash, and I'll just play e3, consolidate. Queen a1 and queen f3 both exist now. Bishop h3 also exists. It goes there. Let's look at queen a1. Yeah, this is getting out of control because now f5 is super loose. And if I get the knife to f5, he resigns instantly. There's knight of d7. Ah, so if I take, he's going to take, take the pawn. Am I scared? I mean, Gary Kasparov said a knife on f5 is worth at least a, worth at least a queen. So who cares? Just go for it. Um, I can play rook a2. Yeah, I think I just go back. Yeah. And now the pawn is hanging on g7. And I mean, this knife on f5 is so powerful here. So f6, there's knight d6. So I'm just trusting my instinct. He takes, I go here. Okay, I mean, <clears throat> objectively, this has to be losing. Must be losing here. Things are just snoopy for the 18 months. What about kick? Kick is not loading. Kick is apparently down. So, um, it's not working right now. So it's kind of hard. That's what it is. Okay, it goes queen d7. Of course, I just take the rook. I mean, even queen h5 looks great here. Maybe just bishop a3. Yeah, I just go here. If takes, I have bishop b4. If takes, I just take and play rook a1. I mean, I'm simplifying into an end game. It'd be nice to get a mate, but nobody needs checkmates. So, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. Let's just go here. It's a little bit hard to believe that he thinks he can save this end game, but I'll play d4 just to lock the structure. Um, let's just go back. Queen c2, of course. h4 doesn't even matter. Let's go here. As long as I don't allow some silly cheese on the uh, on the uh, king side, it's over. Okay, he's he's trying to go knight e3, but I just take and go queen queen g5. Thank you for shot boobies too for the tier one. Thanks for shot boobies. Thank you for the tier one. Okay, this dude's showing a lot of disrespect here by not not resigning. Um, let's just tickle tickle him. Now I will just take the pawn. Think you avoid oblivion for three. Is he really not resigning here? Okay, dude, let's go here. <laughs> Play rook b two. Go rook b7. Yeah, he is being a little bit sore about it by not resigning, but okay. Um, I mean, there are literally any, almost any line wins here. Let's go here. Yeah, he resigns. Let's go for one more, maybe.
plays h4 i mean the thing is though with a4 being played here i don't think you can really castle queen side but it goes for it anyway okay interesting this takes of course probably knight a4 bishop okay it goes bishop c4 but now i have knight b6 to hit the bishop and okay it goes bishop a2 um the real question is here how do I play this as long as knight f6 doesn't blunder something I'm fine that's really the key because now the pawn at a4 I can always go a3 later at, at some critical moment to lock the bishop in jail he does sack interesting so I go here d5 bishop c8 to hit the knight I'm, I'm gonna play a3 somewhere probably I think he's on tilt actually which is interesting because this guy usually does not tilt he, do he doesn't generally tilt that often oh I had knight c4 there as well which is maybe good well okay now I will definitely play knight c4 and just take takes I just castle and I don't know I mean this looks very very pleasant I could have played a3 first but who cares takes okay now of course I'm in great shape to win the game I just need to put this game away with some correct accurate moves so let's go knight d7 what do I have he's got one two three four five six seven I've got one two three five so he's got two pawns for the piece I mean again if, if, if I can't win this that's this is pretty much my own fault so go here in bishop b5 of course attack the knight kick that knight out of e2 play like rook a7 and rook f4 and I'm, I'm well on my way to probably another victory if I'm precise um so let's go here could have played rook c8 too actually I should have did make a slight mistake though so uh I guess I'll go here knight f7 yeah this should be fine he has to trade I take and I go rook c8 maybe I, I mean like I'm better but I've, I've kind of misplayed this a little bit I'm still much better it's just not it's not an instant win anymore the way it should have it, the way it was before I'll take with the rook. These are set the Nitwako for the prime. Okay, but now I go here. I have bishop f1. I mean, it's not the move I want to play. I think the simplest way is just to move my king over to the center of the board. Let's go here. Got to be a little bit careful with the uh, with the bishop here. Well, I think now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to bring my bishop maybe around the other diagonal maybe like yeah, I think I'm gonna go here and try to sneak the bishop back to g4 and go rook rook here like I'll go here Poppy Fennis underscore lol just subscribed oh did I blunder I something show. I almost did just blunder something bigly uh okay, let's go here and bishop g4 and bishop bishop f5 yeah this is how I do it and now I mean I have not played this super well but it's good enough it should be good enough I can also go c5 here I can also go a5 I think step one is a5 and then I'm gonna go c5 here yeah c5 here he has to take and then I take and now I think I, I just oh wait did I misplay this a little bit I might have it's still much better but it's not not instant anymore let's go here I go a4 yeah a4 takes and I get rook b2 now my rook infiltrates and now everything should start to collapse here yeah everything should start to collapse I just take because now I get a I get a grip on the light squares and this is over very good I could have also played rook c4 which was probably better but who cares let's go here yeah this is gg good stuff let's go here take the pawn go rook a4 and it's winning So, um, I guess I'll play takes. What's the big deal? I'll just take. I mean, I, I, the thing is, it's even the right color bishop, so it's a very easy win. You can play e6 and rook e4, but another one. Who's our tune? This is Pranesh. Now, it's the right color pawn, so I win. Well, who cares? We just, I sip my coffee, and I just chill, and we win the game.
Okay, now I think I just go here. Hmm. Oh, good stuff. Five out of five. Thank you, Tanky, for the Prime and T dot. Thank you, Super Robot Axe and Poppy Phoenix. Oh, he's being sour. He's being sour. He's not resigning. Okay. All right, he resigns. Uh, thanks for to NH Pickleballer for the 28 months. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, we get another big dub. Let's find somebody else to play. Five out of five. Good stuff. Let's see who else is online. Okay, Demchenko is online. I'll challenge him as well if I can, if I can get him. Any sours? Yeah, five points from number one. Who is number one? I don't even know who's number one right now. Is it Magnus, or is it Daniel, or is it somebody else? Um, I don't know who, I don't know who number one is. I don't even look. Maybe Kuroki is 22. I mean, the only thing that I really pay attention to is, um, the only thing I pay attention to is, uh, is pretty much like, um, the all time ratings. That's the only thing that I really pay attention to personally. I just, I don't see any reason to let's go here in 97. Let's go E5. Mm, let's go 97 take. Oh, it's castle. Probably goes knight f1, knight g3. But -da -dum, but -da -dum. I'm getting cocky. What? Let's go 95. So, all right. Um,. I guess I'll just take and take, play it with the with the D's bishops. Nice rating, yeah. 32 32 is good, but you know what's really sad, you guys, that my all-time peak is 33 32. So I got one point away from glor glory with the perfect mirror rating. But unfortunately, I couldn't get 33 33. I lost my rating was 33 32, which was extremely disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Like I've probably never been more disappointed in my entire life. Um, because my rating was I got my rating to um so close to, to glory. Now, I don't actually like my position in this game. Um, maybe I just take and go bishop g4 or something to take the knight. I have this one weak pawn on a6. That's all that's bad about my position. So I'll take and play like rook d3 maybe. No, that was a bad move. I, am I figure out how to rotate my knight. Yeah, I miss b5, which is, of course, a big problem. Maybe I can go a5, though. I'm going to do it. I mean, it's not it's not great, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I, I assume that I can get some tricks here. Like, maybe knight d7 and maybe rook c3 or something. And I have knight b6 lurking as well. Oh, I could play knight b6. No, knight b6 right away. He trades and goes c5, which is a draw. And obviously, with my rating where it's at, a draw is no good. Which is pretty rough. Not going to lie. A draw, a draw with my rating where it's at is a disaster. So, I can't afford a draw. It goes there. But this gives me rook c2. You Wait a second. Now I have knight c5 to hit the rook. Maybe just knight e6 to guard. And I think I'm okay here. So I also have knight f4 and rook c1. I've got a lot of tricks lurking here. Or, is he... or wait, no, it's mate. It's mate. I have check. Yes. 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 There we go. All right. There we go. Next game. Keep going. Thanks for Raphael guest of birth. Thank you. I am very. Thank you so much, you guys, for the resubs. Let's go bishop b2 and let's play g3, bishop g2. Um, that's what happens. That's that's chess, you guys. Sometimes you're the ant, or sometimes you're the ant, sometimes you're the windshield. Uh, of course I pre-moved it. It was a force checkmate. Yeah. I, I don't know. You guys are acting like it's something something unusual or something unnatural. Apparently, you haven't been watching my stream for the last like five years. Anyway, let's play knight c3. Um Jan Christoph Duda played this whole um this whole knight c6 weirdness against me in like the world blitz and rapid. So I'm gonna go over like knight c2 and e4. No, no, I mean I'm I'm somewhat trolling, but I'm also not trolling. Okay, let's go rook b1. I mean e4 is always a move. I, I don't remember if I'm supposed to play e4 or knight d5. I always get these lines kind of kind of jumbled in my head. So I'm gonna go here and probably play knight e d5. Alright, goes e6, which is interesting because now. I think knight a4, and I feel like I'm doing quite well. Because now he can't push p in the center. My knight on e3 maybe isn't best, but it stops something. Goes there. So let's go here and trade. Not worried. 
Now I can also push P with E4 if I want. So I can go Rook D1. I'll go here, maybe Rook BC1. Very, very nice position here. Let's go Rook C1. And I can put the Knight on F4. And with these Knights well placed, I should be fine. Because Knight F5 logical. I can obviously take. Rook D3 looks completely fine. I just want to do the double stack. I think there's a Lola Burst XX for the Prime. I mean, Rook D1 looks fine. I mean, am I really worried about H4 is another question. Eh. I don't actually know. Maybe I am. I think I'm going to go H3. Hard to judge whether I need to play H3. Yeah. Yeah. It goes A6. I assume I should play Queen B1 to try to force the trade of the Knights, maybe. Maybe I could just take and play E3. I mean, I don't really know what's going on here. It's hard to judge. It was 98. Of course, I trade the bishops. I mean, I can play queen b2 here, probably. I can play rook d1. I think I'll go check. Very logical step one. And then I'm probably going to play like rook d1 or something. Uh, maybe like I go knight c3. Maybe I go knight f4, knight d5, actually. Yeah, actually, I like knight f4, knight d5 here. Makes a lot of sense. Um... I'm going to play knight d5 here. Let's go knight d5. I can take, um, play, take rook takes. If I go e3, e3, knight f3, knight... Actually, wait. If I go e3, yeah, let's go here. Knight f3, king g2. Knight g5, h4, or knight c3. Yeah, this should be fine. Because now I reroute the knight back to c3, and I should be doing well. Goes there. So I play... I mean, of course, rook d1 has to be the correct move here. Now, I can put my knight on d5, and I, I should be very close. Wait, what? Takes, 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 and queen d... Wait a second. Rook d6. There are no knight tricks. Rook d6, rook d6, queen e5. Yeah, this looks, just looks crushing. And I take, and then I take with the rook. I can even sack on e6 here in this... Okay, we take a deep breath. There are no actual threats here, are there? I could play queen d5. But I think after knight c3, there's h4 something. h4, knight e4. So I don't like that. I could also just go h4. Um, queen d5. I mean, everything is good. Okay, let's go knight b6 to hit the rook. And then I'm going to go knight d7. And knight, knight f6. And this should just be winning. Oh, don't tell me I just blundered. What? If I take knight e... Wait, I check. And I have queen f4. I very nearly just blundered this. Jeez. I'm lucky I have queen f4 here. Very lucky. So I take and now... Now I just win the game. All right, you guys. We are going to move on over to kick now. So I'm going to continue playing. Try to try to get the uh, top rating on the site. We're going to move over to kick now. So make sure you click that link. It's uh, kick.com slash GMHCar. We're going to keep rocking and rolling. Trying to set.